Terrence Howard, man, what a wild ride in Hollywood. This dude's got talent for days, but he's also had his fair share of drama along the way. You know those actors who just grab your attention from the get-go? That's Howard. He came onto the scene with this raw energy that was just magnetic. People couldn't take their eyes off him. Born on March 11, 1969, in Chicago, Illinois, Terrence Howard's childhood was marked by turmoil and tragedy. Moving to Cleveland, Ohio, didn't shield him from abuse, as his father's actions led to turmoil. The infamous centerline slaying cast a shadow over the family, with Tyrone's imprisonment prompting Terrence to seek solace in Los Angeles under his great-grandmother's care. Life in Los Angeles saw Howard drawn into the allure of gang life, seeking camaraderie and protection by joining the Mansfield Gangster Crips. Though it offered camaraderie, it also exposed him to the dangers of street life, including violence and incarceration. Despite the allure of the streets, Howard had a moment of clarity. Confronted with the consequences of his choices, he began questioning his path, setting the stage for a profound shift. Determined to break free from the cycle of violence, Howard sought alternative avenues for growth. Education, self-reflection, and creative outlets became his tools for transformation. He decided to channel all that passion towards more creative pursuits. Inspired by his grandmother's acting background, Howard pursued entertainment with unwavering determination. His talent soon gained notice, landing him roles in TV shows and films throughout the 90s, culminating in a breakthrough role in The Best Man. I don't give a damn what y'all say. Ain't nothing natural about no monogamy. Early on, he was knocking it out of the park with his performances. From playing supporting roles to owning the lead, Howard showed he could do it all. But man, behind the scenes, it was like a roller coaster. He was always getting into it with someone, whether it was co-stars, directors, or even the law. The guy couldn't catch a break. But you gotta hand it to him. Howard didn't let all that drama stop him. He kept pushing forward, taking on roles that really challenged him. And when he hit his peak, it was something else. Blockbusters, indie flicks, you name it. He was everywhere. Critics loved him. Fans couldn't get enough. Still, Hollywood's a fickle place. Just when things were looking golden, bam, curveball. Projects fell through, opportunities dried up. It's like fame was playing tricks on him. Because they began to spread propaganda that I was difficult to deal with and all this, and I was like, whatever. Like I said earlier, he did have a serendipitous start to his journey to fame right on the bustling streets of New York City. A casting director spotted his raw talent and boom, the entertainment industry took notice, setting him on a path that would define his legacy. In the early 90s, Howard made waves on TV with some killer performances. Remember his Jackie Jackson role in The Jacksons and American Dream on ABC? He nailed it, showing he could bring real-life characters to life with depth and authenticity. That gig opened doors, leading to more top-notch shows like Living Single and NYPD Blue. Hey, Jermaine, why don't you help the brothers out here? Talk to Barry. But it was his lead role in Sparks on UPN in 96 that really put him on the map. Playing Greg Sparks, he stole hearts with his versatility and charm, paving the way for bigger gigs. Howard dipped his toes into movies in 95 with standout performances in Mr. Holland's Opus and Dead Presidents. Dude could tackle complex characters like a champ, leaving a lasting impression on viewers and critics. And let's not forget his cameo game. Howard popped up in music videos for Ashanti's Foolish and Mary J. Blige's Be Without You, showing off his range. He even made guest appearances on shows like Family Matters, I wasn't flirting. I merely said hello and she tripped and her lips fell on mine. But 2005 was a game changer. Howard's role in Hustle and Flow as a pimp-turned-rapper was a revelation. His raw intensity earned him serious props, not to mention that Slayer track, It's Hard Out Here for a Pimp, which snagged an Academy Award. From there, Howard's filmography exploded with hits like Winnie Mandela, Ray, Crash, and The Brave One, proving he could tackle any role thrown his way. 
Then came his turn as James Rhodey. Rhodes in the first Iron Man flick, cementing his status in mainstream cinema. And who can forget his iconic role as Lucius Lyon in Empire? Dude was magnetic on the small screen, too. You done? Huh, Lucius? Don't you come any closer. Put it down. But Howard wasn't just an actor. He dipped his toes into music, too, dropping his debut album Shine Through It in September 2008. Fast forward to December 2022, and Howard announced he's hanging up his acting hat. But man, what a legacy he's leaving behind. From humble beginnings to Hollywood royalty, Terrence Howard's journey is a testament to talent, grit, and leaving an indelible mark on the entertainment world. Elbowing him out of the Marvel movies after the first Iron Man flick, he claimed RDJ snagged his cash and booted him from the sequels, sparking some serious beef and even talk of legal action. In 2008, the year Iron Man hit theaters and introduced us to Howard's portrayal of Colonel James Rhodey Rhodes. His performance? Stellar. The stage was set for Howard to continue his journey in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, MCU. But behind the scenes, trouble brewed. Negotiations for the sequel, Iron Man 2, turned into a battleground. Howard claimed he was promised a certain salary, but Marvel offered him less. Cue the tension. The offer never came to me. When they caught my agent and told my agent, you know, we're going to let him come back for a million instead of eight million, my agent hung up the phone on him. Howard's knack for being tough to work with didn't sit well with everyone. Marvel Studios, known for its no-nonsense approach, wasn't having it. Before Iron Man 2 even kicked off, Marvel dropped a bombshell. Terrence Howard was out, and Don Cheadle was in as Rhodey. Talk about a swift switcheroo. While Robert Downey Jr., who portrayed Tony Stark, Iron Man, wasn't directly involved in Howard's departure, Howard later pointed fingers at him, alleging that Downey Jr. played a role in his exit from the franchise. The feud between Howard and Marvel simmered for years, with legal threats looming on the horizon. But eventually, Howard decided to bury the hatchet, realizing there's more to life than grudges. He chalked it up to, life's too short, and moved on, putting an end to the drama. But even before then, it appears there's been some trouble in paradise, in 2000, Howard got into hot water when he allegedly got physical with a flight attendant. The deets are kind of murky, adding to the mystery surrounding his personal life. In 2005, he again found himself in a scrape at a restaurant, throwing down with two folks. What exactly went down? Well, that's still up for debate, but it definitely didn't help his rep. Even Uncle Sam came knocking on Howard's door for allegedly dodging taxes and coughing up a hefty divorce settlement. Talk about legal drama. Just when you thought it couldn't get crazier, Howard slapped 20th Century Studios with a lawsuit in 2020, claiming they stiffed him on royalties for using his name and face on merch. The legal battles just keep on coming. His run-ins with the law, like that hefty tax bill, got people talking online. While some folks might sympathize with his financial woes, others might see it as a result of poor money management. Howard's views on taxes and reparations, especially his stance on taxing descendants of slaves, raised eyebrows. It sparked heated debates on historical injustices, economic policy, and social justice. Also, his unusual stance on bathroom hygiene particularly his insistence on the use of baby wipes, caused quite a stir and raised some eyebrows. His bold statement in an interview with Elle about considering the absence of baby wipes in a woman's bathroom, a deal-breaker definitely turned heads. The fallout from Howard's baby wipe mandate goes beyond his personal life. The surge in adult usage of baby wipes since 2008, partly fueled by his comments, has raised environmental issues. Despite claims of being flushable, these wipes often clog plumbing systems and damage wastewater treatment infrastructure. Cities like New York have struggled with significant challenges and incurred hefty costs in addressing wipe-related equipment problems. 
The rise in materials extracted from screening machines at wastewater treatment plants highlights the impact of wipes on municipal infrastructure and environmental sustainability. While Terrence Howard's dating preferences might seem quirky at first glance, the unintended consequences of his advocacy for baby wipes shed light on broader issues related to consumer behavior, environmental impact, and infrastructure maintenance. It serves as a reminder of how personal choices can have far-reaching effects on society and the environment. So the next time you reach for a wipe, it's worth considering the bigger picture and perhaps opting for more sustainable alternatives. Then there's the Emmy speech that added even more layers to the already convoluted enigma. There, Terence dove into mathematics, physics, Howard's ponderings on straight lines and their connection to energy and motion are a mix of truth and eccentricity. While he raises interesting points about imperfections in the physical world, dismissing the existence of straight lines overlooks their importance in mathematics. His belief that all energy is expressed through motion simplifies physics principles but shows his fascination with scientific ideas. However, his promise to explain solar system construction without gravity on YouTube fell flat, highlighting a gap between speculation and scientific rigor. His claim of discovering the grand unified field equation and its use in hydrogen technology is shrouded in mystery. Without solid evidence or scientific validation, it's hard to take his assertions seriously. In a nutshell, Terence Howard's journey through math, physics, and controversy reveals the complexity of his character. Terence has had a very eventful love life. His journey through matters of the heart has been a whirlwind of emotions filled with highs, lows, and plenty of drama. Terence's first marriage was to Lori McComas in 1989, a marriage that resulted in the birth of three children. Despite attempts to reconcile, their relationship faced turbulence, leading to two divorces and eventual separation. His second marriage was to Michelle Ghent in 2010. Within a year, they were filing for divorce amid allegations of physical altercations, adding to the tumult surrounding their union. Terence's third marriage, to Mira Pack, began in 2013 and brought forth a son. Despite their divorce in 2015, they rekindled their romance, surprising many with an engagement in 2018, showcasing the unpredictability of their relationship. His legal saga with ex-wife Michelle Gant reached a significant turning point, with a ruling in Howard's favor. The judge presiding over the case, Thomas Trent Lewis, decided to throw out a spousal support agreement that was deemed to have been signed under duress, marking a victory for the Empire actor. Howard's lawyer, Brian Kramer, expressed satisfaction with the ruling, highlighting the recognition that agreements signed under coercion cannot withstand judicial scrutiny. The decision acknowledges Howard's assertion that Ghent forced him to sign the spousal support agreement under the threat of blackmail, a claim denied by Ghent's legal team. Ghent's lawyers, Saeed Vakili and John A. Schlaff, provided a different perspective, stating that the settlement was reached through voluntary mediation in May 2012, before Howard's involvement in Empire. They emphasized Ghent's waiver of legal claims against Howard for his past abuse and her agreement not to disclose details about their marriage. However, tensions between Howard and Judge Lewis were evident throughout the proceedings, with Howard frequently expressing frustration on the stand. Despite Lewis acknowledging Howard's behavior as that of a bully, he emphasized that being a bully does not justify being bullied in return. The ruling necessitates Howard and Gent's return to court to renegotiate a new spousal support agreement, acknowledging their difficult relationship and the need for further legal resolution. In response to the ruling, Howard expressed his satisfaction and gratitude to his legal team for their efforts in securing the favorable outcome. With this legal victory, Howard can move forward as he navigates the complexities of his personal and professional life, including his recent divorce from his third wife, Mira Pack. Current status? 
Terrence Howard is currently engaged to Mira Pack once again. Their relationship, characterized by privacy and occasional glimpses into their lives as co-parents, continues to fascinate. His love life has undoubtedly been a roller coaster ride of multiple marriages, divorces, and unexpected twists. Despite the challenges, he navigates the complexities of romance with resilience and grace, showcasing the unpredictable nature of love and relationships. With all the real-life chaos swirling around him, Howard's role on Empire took a hit. While he aced it as Lucius Lyon, the off-screen drama seemed to blur with his character, making things extra complicated. Terence's journey through life is a testament to resilience, talent, and the complexities of fame. From his humble beginnings in Chicago to his rise to Hollywood stardom, Howard has navigated a path filled with triumphs and tribulations. As an actor, Howard's raw talent and magnetic presence have captivated audiences across the globe. His performances in films like Hustle and Flow and Empire have earned him critical acclaim and solidified his status as one of Hollywood's most versatile actors. However, behind the scenes, Howard has faced numerous challenges, including legal battles, controversies, and personal struggles. Howard's love life, marked by multiple marriages and divorces, reflects the unpredictable nature of romance and the complexities of human relationships. Despite the turmoil, Howard continues to navigate the highs and lows of love with resilience and grace. In addition to his acting career, Howard's foray into mathematics, physics, and controversy adds another layer to his enigmatic persona. His musings on straight lines, energy, and motion showcase a curious mind and a desire to explore the unknown. Overall, his journey serves as a reminder that success often comes with its own set of challenges. Despite facing adversity, he remains steadfast in his pursuit of excellence, leaving an indelible mark on the entertainment industry and inspiring others to overcome obstacles and pursue their dreams. As he continues to evolve as an artist and a person, one thing is certain. Terence Howard's legacy will endure for generations to come.